Hi Libra, this is going to be a general love reading for mid-June to the end of June 2021 for your Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus signs. And because it is general, it's not going to resonate for all of you. But as always, you can check out one of your other signs or you can book a personal reading. Also, the roles can be reversed because it is a general reading. All right, Libra, what is going on with you in mid-June? All right, we have stuck. Okay, so you might feel like you are in a situation that feels to be stuck, that maybe it doesn't feel like it's going anywhere. Maybe um, your person seems to be stuck. We will, we will see. Let's see. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the second half of June. Just had judgment um, flip over. Could be an awakening. Could be an awakening. That's how it's coming through. Let's see. All right. So for you, we have the Ten of Swords, the Knight of Pentacles, and the Page of Pentacles. All right, so you feel like there is some kind of an ending or that maybe there's a defeat here that, you know, this is just not going to go anywhere. You might be feeling the pain of that, just really having to face an ending that might not be um, too pleasant. But at the same time, I do see you actually moving in a direction where you are finding your stability. You are finding some groundedness and it's like you, you're you learning a lot here, but it also feels like, like you just, you trust that something is going to happen in the way that it should. Let's see for them. We have the King of Swords, the Page of Swords, and the Two of Swords. Okay, a lot of swords. So some of you might be dealing with another air sign here. Um, This person is very clear and very determined about, about what it is that they want. Also, I feel like they have a lot that they want to say. However, it's like they're holding back. They're holding back from both. They're holding back both from actually um, communicating this to you as well as holding back from taking action on this. So it feels to me more like they're the ones who are stuck in a way. Let's see. Let's see what is coming up. So for you in the near future, we have the King of Pentacles. For them, we have the Three of Pentacles. And mutually, we have the Queen of Swords. And a message for you here is the Nine of Swords. Okay. It's interesting that you have, <laughs> like, you're moving towards this pentacles energy. So you're moving towards really grounding yourself. For some of you, this could even be a financial gain that you might be moving towards. I don't know how that would relate to this connection, but maybe it does in a way. Maybe this ending or the, this apparent ending is actually pushing you to move towards um, your financial goals and might actually be helping you in that sense or in that department. And again, it feels like still you, you're, there's still this sense of trust. There's still this sense of you knowing that, you know, whatever it is that is coming up, it is going to be for your highest good. I just can't help but get that here. Um, for your person, there's some kind of a collaboration here, some kind of maybe even willing to work with you or willing to compromise. We'll see more when we clarify. Whatever the case, there is a lot of clarity here that is coming up. A lot of clarity and a lot of, I feel like with this Queen of Swords, it's like cutting through the bullshit. Cutting through the bullshit and just really being clear and honest with each other. 
And I actually get that from them as well here with the King of Swords and the Page of Swords and then now having the Queen of Swords. That's like the whole family of swords, <laughs> um, pretty much almost. They're just holding back, but there's a lot of things that they want to talk to you about that they want to come from an honest place. And I do see that actually happening here. All right. Now we do also have the Nine of Swords as a message for you, but we'll see that when we get there. I feel like that's just um, the anxiety that you might be feeling during this time leading up to this clarity. All right, Libra. So let's see. Let me clarify the Ten of Swords, which is in your energy. We have the Fool and we have the Four of Swords. Yeah, you know, so this may have, this may have come a little bit unexpectedly or maybe you took a leap of faith um, in ending this or even if it's not you ending it, like maybe this is a connection that has been a little um, stagnant for a while because we do have the stuck card. Um, but maybe this really coming to terms with it or really, you know, allowing it to sink in and to facing it might be something that came on a little bit suddenly where it almost felt like you taking a leap of faith when it comes to really allowing this apparent ending to just fully um, express itself even within you and I feel like that doing that has brought about a lot of healing. Like this is what is opening up the door for you to heal in some way. Either heal from this connection or to heal something within yourself. So again, it feels like it's just throwing you on the right path here. So let me clarify the Knight of Pentacles. A lot of court cards in this reading as well. So I don't know if there's just a lot of people involved possibly for some of you, but there seems to be quite a bit of court cards more so than usual. All right, so the King of Cups, the Seven of Wands, and the Hermit, okay? So we also have Virgo energy here. Just in general, we have um, a lot of Earth energy and a lot of Air energy. Okay, so. Libra, you're moving in a direction where it's like you're following your heart, it's, but it's in a way where, yeah, you might be, it might be following your heart, but it might also feel like you're going against your heart at the same time. And I feel like this is something that you are kind of diving deep in within yourself to really figure that out. Um, I see you kind of withdrawing from this connection or at least keeping quiet for the most part from this person or from this situation because you're just like you know what like yeah I might have a lot of love for this person but I gotta move forward even if that's a slow process or it might feel slow but but it feels like you are doing that and if that means you know just kind of going within and you know just blocking this person out well then you know so be it because you're opening up like this new like a new path for your own self whether it includes this person or not all right let's move on to them let's see this king of swords all right we have the world and temperance There is something that this person wants to close out um, in their life. There's there's some kind of a completion here. It's like they're determined that that there's a chapter that needs to end. And I feel like they they are at a place where they're also doing a lot of healing when it comes to that. There's a lot of determinism behind it. There's a lot of determinism and a lot of understanding when it comes to closing out something in their lives and I feel like this is something that has possibly taken a while it has taken a lot of time let me see the page of swords the 
the Three of Wands and the Two of Cups. Yeah, so this person definitely wants to talk to you, as I said. They want to talk to you because they, here's the Two of Cups. They have a lot of feelings for you. They're, they're feeling a lot of emotions for you. They're seeing you as, as a love partner. But it's like they're waiting either for the right moment or they're just procrastinating. And it's interesting to me because I feel like there's so much determinism here on the one hand. But it could be that there's a, um, a situation other than you. It doesn't have to be a person. It could be anything. That it could even be something within their own self that they need to really complete before doing so. And that could be why they're holding out here and waiting. I do feel though that this person is um, in some way or another because of all the swords, especially the page of swords, I feel like they are keeping an eye on you in some way. Um, really curious as to what is up with you, possibly just kind of following you. Not following you in person, but just maybe following social media or finding information about you. But still holding back from fully communicating certain things that they feel. Some of you might be in contact. And it feels like this person is still holding back from completely being honest. Or not that they're dishonest, but they're not being completely honest with what is going on. Let's see the two of swords. Page of Wands and the Six of Swords. Yeah, again, it feels like there's a situation that they're trying to move away from. They're trying to look in a new direction and they want to. That drive is there. They're ready for something new. But there's something still here kind of holding them back. But at the same time, I feel like they are moving towards actually doing that, all right? Because with the Page of Wands, that's taking the first step. It's taking that first step, making, making the initiative, or taking the initiative to leave behind some old, some old baggage. And I do feel like whatever that is, it may have to do with this, whatever it is that needs to close out. Um, possibly even within themselves, some kind of way of thinking or some way of behaving, especially if it comes to the way that they um, communicate or if it's just to resolve a specific situation. There's still a bit of hesitancy is what I'm seeing here, a little bit of that. But they're taking that first step. So let's see what is coming up. King of Pentacles for you. <laughs> Ten of Pentacles. I'm telling you, what are you doing, Libra? Like, please leave me a comment and let me know if you are moving in a direction that is just something very grounded, something that you're working on, like a project or, um, you know, career-wise, if there's something new. And because just a lot of Pentacles here. But I see you also... Possibly even getting yourself involved in some kind of a commitment. Now, it could be with a, a person. It doesn't have to be, though. I mean, this is a love reading, but for some reason it's coming through that it's not going to be a love situation for all of you. And I feel like if it's not a love situation, you would already know that. You don't have to wait to see that unfold. This is something you already know that you're moving towards. If it is... A love situation or if actually if you if there is no new path that you are taking when it comes to something else in your life then yes this could definitely be a love situation where there is commitment it's like you're just like ready for that you're standing strong you're in your power um, when it comes to the physical and, and when it comes to how grounded you are and how much it is that you can provide for something stable and I actually see the same thing from here, from this other person. But again, it feels like, almost feels like a collaboration, like some kind of a partnership. Like you might decide to work on something together and then that might lead to it being something more. It might lead to things getting unstuck. 
All right, we have the Queen of Pentacles, again, <laughs> another court card and another Pentacles card. So yeah, definitely a lot of Earth sign in this reading. And the Three of Cups. So exactly what I just said, I feel like there is some kind of a, um, communication that might take place here or a working together, a willingness to try to make things work. I mean, we have the King of Pentacles here for you and then clarifying their card, we get the Queen of Pentacles. And even though that's not in your sign, it's still um, the compatible, a compatible couple here and making things work and being a power couple, basically. Very grounded, very stable. And with the Three of Cups, yeah, I mean, that's a celebration. This is a coming together. I'm actually getting two different messages, though, here. I have a different message coming in. It's, it's going to apply just for some of you. But let me just clarify the Queen of Swords first. The Queen of Swords. And I'll see. Six of Cups and the Page of Pentacles, okay? So the Page of Pentacles showing up again. Yeah, you know, okay, so this does feel like, for, for the situation that I just described, okay, so that would be like one group of you, um, it definitely is cutting through the bullshit and having some kind of a reconciliation here with that Six of Cups and kind of like starting over with that Page of Pentacles being ready to open this up in a new path. Now, for a smaller group of you, the second message that came through is you really wanting a commitment, you being able to provide that, and then your person possibly being involved still with a third party. In that case, in that case, I feel like, again, there's a cutting through the bullshit <laughs> either way. There's a cutting through the bullshit, and I feel like it's that, that cuttingness that can open up the path to a reconciliation in the right way. Either way, you're moving in the right path. And again, I feel like it's, I feel like the first message is going to be for most of you. The second message, I feel like was for a, a smaller, smaller group of you. And it doesn't mean that for the first situation that there isn't a third party. There could still be a third party and things still moving in the direction of um, the first message, okay? Just take what resonates. Let me see the Nine of Swords as the message. All right, the Page of Swords and the Eight of Wands. Okay, this is just a lot of stress about communication. Okay, and I feel like that's just an next, just reinforcing the message here about this person. All right, this person is very stressed about having a particular conversation with you. And that's why I feel like for a lot of you, like it's that conversation where I feel like things are going to just be really, really straightforward. And that is what is going to help to get this unstuck. It's going to help to get you unstuck. It's going to help to get them unstuck. It's really just cutting through the bullshit is what this is going to be a very, very straightforward conversation. Um, it's just that this person is very anxious about it. And yeah, you, so I don't know, do take that message and use it as in whatever way it helps you. All right, Libra. Yeah, for, I feel like for both groups, it's a lot of just cutting through the chase here, regardless. So let's see if this resonated. Final oracle message for you. Things are not stuck. That's another message here. You might be stressed thinking that things are stuck. They're not. That's just came through to me. They're not. Things are moving. Things are moving forward. So if you're stressing, thinking that they're not, that's not the case. You are moving forward regardless. Okay, and we have new moon in Leo. Confidence is your key to success. So yes, be confident. Be confident in moving forward. 
All right, Libra, those are your messages. Thank you so much for watching and much love.